Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial about continuous integration. So before starting today, I would like to mention something I forgot a lot the first time. I mean on the tutorial before. I forgot to mention that uh, Maven is a... You don't have to add a Maven plugin to Eclipse because it's already integrated as I told. And you can check here what uh, your Maven configuration if you click uh, you just go to show view you click on Maven, Maven repositories click on OK here you have all your repositories you have a local repository local repositories and global repositories on local repositories you have see you can see that uh, your libraries are stored in this folder see users m 2 repository and here are your work, workspace projects you can see that you don't have any any workspace project and this is the central repository the global repository which is online uh, which is uh, which is the maven maven servers online well uh, let's check what is in that repository uh, here it is let's go to c users and this dot m2 repository you can see that here you have folders folders that are just libraries uh, java libraries you can see the jar all of it are java libraries we have a lot of folders we have uh, gunit libraries we have java Excel libraries log project libraries right today we are going to speak about something else we will speak I'll tell you a little bit about uh, how to install Nexus and how to configure Maven to use Nexus as a micro. Well, to install Nexus, obviously, you just have to come here and you say download Nexus. And you just click on the first link. Uh, sorry about that issue. I don't know what's wrong with my internet connection, but okay, it's okay now. Here it is, and uh, you go on downloads. I would like you to download this first file download Nexus OSS. Well, and this one is the best the zip file so that you can extract it directly. Me, I have already downloaded it. So uh, I'm not going to do it again. Here it is. The next step now is to extract it. I've done it here. You just have to extract it. Inside you have two folders. I go to the Nexus uh, 2.10 folder and you go to bin. There is a GSW folder you just enter it here you have to choose according to your operating system and also to your java virtual machine type me i'm using a 32-bit java virtual machine so i use windows 32 here what you have to do first is to install the wrapper run as administrator well, that is installed then you install nexus run as administrator also okay uh, it's already existing okay i don't have to worry about it's okay then and then i start nexus run as administrator well nexus is already starting cool well uh, what i should do now is to say it's local host local host 8081 Nexus Oh, what's wrong with that? Nexus Come on Well, here it is, you can see that you have the Nexus, uh, the Nexus interface, welcoming interface 
Okay, you can go to repositories. You will see all the repositories you have on the Nexus, Miro server. Well, uh, the second step now is to configure Maven to use Nexus as a Miro. Uh, as you can see here, Maven is now using the Maven Central repository. I mean the one on the cloud online as the as a Miro. That what is not very very good for us if you are working in, you know in a company in a big company where everyone have to use the same libraries. What we, sh what we should do is to go back here we go back to continuous integration we enter our Apache Maven folder configuration we change the settings uh, you have to scroll until you reach the until you reach my rows I will open I will copy this my section and paste it here then I will change some features I will put Nexus as ID Myro of star which means uh, whatever you want to download with Maven you should do it through this Nexus Myro the name I will say is mm, Nexus Myro uh, hardly Myro well, and the next the URL I copy this Think you can do it this way and I will paste it here well I don't have to put it twice but it's okay then I just have to register all of it uh, it's okay now and I will try to check if there is a difference here there is no difference logically what you should do is to come here to preferences it says maven uh, you can see that we are using the, the maven 5 but you should go to user settings you should change that setting and it, it should be uh, the the file you just just updated uh, what is it for well, java enterprise edition you delete this Continuous integration, Apache Maven, configuration, here it is, apply. Well, you can see that there is a great difference now. You can see that my Maven, my local Maven, will use the next my Nexus server as a Miro to connect to a Maven central repositories online. Well. Now, uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to install Jenkins and to configure Jenkins to use uh, Git and Maven inside itself. Thank you. Bye.